Hey Team Cornwall, Curtis here with an exciting update in our efforts to save the Cornwall Creek flooding and dam. At the end of last week, Friday, May 12th to be exact, the DNR published a brand new press release regarding Cornwall. Remember, prior to this new release, the last public statement from the DNR on Cornwall was the original press release from way back on January 19th, the one that kicked off our entire campaign. I've linked the new press release in the comments below, but I wanna take a few minutes to summarize it and explain how far we've come over the past four months. Remember, back in January, the DNR stated their plans to draw down the flooding this fall and seek funding to remove the dam. Over the past four months, since that press release, a lot has happened. Our grassroots effort to bring awareness to this issue and ultimately to save Cornwall has been firing on all cylinders. Our Facebook group has ballooned to over 2,600 members. We've racked up over a quarter million social media impressions. Our video content has been viewed tens of thousands of times and website traffic at savecornwall.org has doubled month over month. We've appeared dozens of times in news media across the state, including television, radio, online, and print media. We've produced and distributed over 2,000 yard signs, banners, and stickers. We've attended and spoken at Natural Resources Commission meetings, county and township commission meetings, visited legislative offices in Lansing, and held two separate on-location meetup events at Cornwall. These have drawn over 200 combined Team Cornwall members. We've garnered full support and participation from three of our Northern Michigan legislators, and all of these efforts have paid off. We're having a major impact. Our voices are being heard, and positive momentum is building. And this couldn't be illustrated better than by a comparison of the following statements from the two press releases. In January, the DNR stated, plans are underway to lower the level of the impoundment in late summer or fall 2023 to address the critical safety concerns identified by Eagle, as well as to seek grant funding for full removal of the dam. Now, fast forward from January to May, and the new press release states, since then, the DNR has been working with partners to seek funding and execute a more detailed inspection by an independent firm to better inform the department of the safest, most efficient options for moving forward with this high hazard dam. The DNR is also seeking renovation funding from the Federal Emergency Management Agency. This is incredible news. Now, there are a lot of factors that have played into this change of course within the DNR. However, suffice it to say that with this new press release, it's clear that Team Cornwall and the Michigan Department of Natural Resources are now aligned with the same goal of repairing the dam and preserving the flooding. And while this is fantastic news and a huge win for everyone, make no mistake, we're still a long way from the finish line here, and there's plenty of work we must do to reach our ultimate goal. It is not time to slow down or let up. We've got to be louder than ever, spreading our Save Cornwall message farther than it's ever gone before. So where does this leave us and what's happening next? As the new press release states, the DNR will be submitting an application for dam repair funding to the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA, and their High Hazard Potential Dams grant program. This application process is a ton of work, and like most grant programs, it's extremely competitive, and there's obviously no guarantee that Cornwall would be selected as a grant recipient. Awards for this grant program are typically announced in September, so we're quite a few months away from knowing whether or not funding here would be successful. Now, in addition to FEMA, the press release does also mention the legislative efforts to secure funding at the state level, and it's very likely this will still be needed, even if the FEMA application is successful. Finally, beyond the funding aspect, the other big puzzle piece here 
is the new geotechnical analysis that will be taking place at the dam in the coming weeks. This will be the most comprehensive analysis ever completed on the dam structure itself. It will include borings into the core of the embankment and a full remote underwater camera scope of the riser structure and the outlet pipe. The results of this analysis will hopefully confirm that while the dam certainly does need repair, it's not in a state of imminent failure, and we have some time to work with to secure the necessary repair funding through FEMA and or state legislative appropriation. So, in summary, we're moving in the right direction, and your support is making a huge difference. We need it now more than ever. Please, continue to engage on social media. This is huge. If you haven't already joined the Facebook group as a member, now is the time. Check the page often and like, share, and comment. Invite your friends and family to the group. Please post your photos and stories from Cornwall. Talk to your friends and neighbors. Our awareness campaign continues to be crucially important to our success, and we need your help to continue spreading the message loud and clear. Thanks for your continued support. Together, we will save Cornwall. Stay tuned.